Hi, Tyler from Interfidelity here at The Show Newport 2015. I'm in the audio precision room, if you can believe that. Uh, these guys came to the show and show people how you test audio gear. And Jonathan Novick is here. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Uh, I have an Audio Precision 2522, which is a very expensive piece of gear 15, 20 years ago. Uh, and has since been uh, superseded twice. And uh, Jonathan is going to tell us about their, their new tester, something that I lust after. <laughs> All right, so tell us about it, Jonathan. Well, the unit what we have, it's our new flagship. It's called the APX 555. And this is the finest audio analyzer in the world. Uh, the old flagship was our SYS 2722. And that had the lowest noise and distortion. This is 5 dB lower in noise and distortion. Goes the, out, the uh, output goes to 204 kilohertz. The input goes out to over a megahertz. So it's one of those things that you can test anything from headphones to Class D amps. You can even look at the switching frequency of the Class D amp using this one megahertz input. Cool. So it, it's a very exciting new product. And, and not only is the, the hardware different, but the software is substantially different yeah. for this piece of gear. Can you show us a little bit of, the, of what's going on with the new software well, and, and what the fundamental difference is? Well, the fundamental difference is that we've designed this software with automation in mind. On the left of the screen, you select measurements and you just populate a list of measurements you want to make. And then you can hit a go button and it'll go through all those measurements automatically. The other big difference is we can make multiple measurements at once. So here's a measurement. We have this little film strip down here. One acquisition made about a dozen different measurements. So it's much faster in the fact that it can do these things all simultaneously. Yeah, that is so amazing. I, I can't tell you what a difference that is because currently what I have to do in my system is you set up a series of panels, you push a go button, it takes one measurement, and then when you go to take the next measurement, it, it populates a whole other series, uh, it loads a new test, a whole series of panels, and makes a measurement. And when you do that, it loses the data from the first measurement, so you have to export the data to a spreadsheet or something like that to keep it. And here, it does all these measurements simultaneously, the data is already there and remains live. Right, and we even allow you to post-process the data with without ever destroying the original data. The other cool thing that we've done is we've put a waveform monitor and a spectral monitor built into the software. So now I can look live what's happening to my signals. I can look at, it's like having an oscilloscope and a spectrum analyzer built right into the software. Just running all at the same time. Yep. Very, very cool. Uh, uh, price of the fully loaded piece of gear like this? Well, the 555 starts at 28300 and of course our solutions using the same software, we have this low cost unit called the APX 515, the little nine pound unit I travel with it in a backpack uh, quite a bit. And this is a, that's mostly an analog tester. No, this is analog and digital. Oh, and digital. It does support 192K digital. Huh. It just doesn't have the some of the hardware options that you get. It's a lot better fidelity out of the 555 and we have these modules where you can add additional digital interfaces. Right. I, I, it's it's interesting to take a look at the front panel here and the way this one of these pieces of gear is set up where you have uh, outputs. This is either the uh, generator side, right. and then this is the analyzer side, analog, right. and then this is the digital generator side, right. and then the digital analyzer. Well, is, no, oh, that's all in one. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And, and then we have for I squared S for people doing signal processing at the chip level. This is for uh, PDM input for uh, and output for testing digital MEMS mics. We have Bluetooth. We have HDMI available. Um, uh, do you have uh, don't, um, USB digital output testing? We're, we do ASIO, um, but uh, we have we don't have a USB. Uh, it, well, but you we, do now have a Bluetooth. Uh, yes, we do test, and which would be so cool to be able to um, set up my tester so that it just Bluetooth signals to the to, to headsets. <clears throat> Currently, I have to have an outboard for me. I have to have an outboard uh, Bluetooth uh, transmitter. Um, but the new gear has the Bluetooth transmitter built in and can analyze. Right, Bluetooth transmitter and receiver, and we can look at the 
hands-free profile as well as the A2DP for stereo yeah. as well. Most awesome. And that, that's really the one thing, especially for the headphone market, where this APX515 starts at only 6500 and can do acoustic testing, but it doesn't have that Bluetooth link. And, yeah. But we do have solutions in between this and the uh, flagship that also support Bluetooth. Cool. Well, I... Uh, I'm I'm stoked to see these guys here. It's it's a, it's a treat to get to talk to you. Yes, and, pleasure uh, meeting you. And we should get together at some point and do something about with headphone measurements and stuff like that. We would love to. Yeah, I would. Uh, it would be great to team up with these guys and and uh, have a little talk that I can uh, that we can do together because there's so much knowledge that you guys have on the hardware side of these things and and I, I've got a lot of experience with headphone measurements and yeah. it'd just be a fun time to I think so yeah I'll look forward to it all right Jonathan All thanks right, very take much care, Tom. okay and we'll see you guys at the next booth